Preparing for emergency situations. That was the goal of today's field day for the Tyler Amateur Radio Club. As East Texas News Weekend's Lauren T. reports, the club of more than 100 will test their efficiency, communication, and equipment for the next 24 hours straight. Uh, there was a Kilo Alpha 2 station again. It gives an opportunity to demonstrate what will you do during an emergency, either here in Smith County or within the state of Texas or a national emergency if we're called upon by local, state, or federal officials. For 24 hours until tomorrow afternoon, licensed ham radio operators will rotate through these stations to test not just the technology, but to also test their own abilities to efficiently connect and communicate with other operators across the country. In the past few weeks, these amateur radio club members, along with the East Texas Emergency Communication Service, have used their knowledge and training to help the National Weather Service accurately release information about severe weather by going out, seeing, and tracking what the radar cannot. When activated by local, state, or federal officials ahead of severe weather, operators who are trained with the National Weather Service are on alert and we do radio silence until the net control operator asks specifically for particular reports. Usually it's the size of hail, wind speed, rain amount, stuff like that. All that information is immediately going back to Smith County Office of Emergency Management and also going to Shreveport, Louisiana, so they can verify what we're saying is it matching up with what they're seeing on the radars. And while the competition of field day is taken seriously, many of the participants are there to enjoy a hobby, have fun, and invite younger generations to learn more. I've had a lot of experience going to field day. It's it's like a childhood summer camp that's never ended. I just absolutely love coming out here and doing this and sharing with others. Lauren Tier, East Texas News Weekend. This year, they hope to make more than 1,200 contacts to come in second or first place in the North Texas region of the American Radio Relay League.